So what is CFRB? Here you can see this is the CFRB, the black, black sheets. Here the plain bonding, and here's the GFRB. And I will focus on CFRB and plain bonding, okay? Because they are, you know, they are very common. They are popular uh, in use, okay? So first, the CFRB. They are carbon fiber reinforced plastic, that, uh, which is composite material that consists of two parts, which is a matrix and a reinforcement. Okay, and CFRB the reinforcement is the carbon fiber. Okay, and the matrix is usually the polymer resin. It's extremely strong and light fiber reinforced plastic. Carbon fiber wrapping is used for these purposes: shear strengthening, confinement strengthening, flexural strengthening. So, let's see the advantages for using CFRB over other methods. Easy installation, corrosion resistance, short construction period, flexible with high strength and high modulus, long shelf life and high toughness, anti high temperature, environmentally friendly, lightweight with no influence on original structure. But there are some disadvantages. These are the, it is very costly. We know it. it is a little harmful for the human uh, body as it causes cancers. The carbon fiber can cause corrosion when CFRP parts are attached to aluminum. This is strong point. Despite its high initial strength to weight ratio, a design limitation of CFRP is its lack of definable fatigue and durable limit. Okay? What are the applications for CFRB? Seismic reinforcement, improving the structural state, damage of structural parts. Sometimes, sometimes this is uh, this damage is um, physical, or um, sometimes uh, we can have if the quake. Works, we have talking about seismic. Okay, uh, change in the structural functions, remit mistakes in design and construction, also load in. So these are other applications other than construction, okay? So in aerospace and aircraft industries, automated body is also made up of carbon fiber, okay? Now let's go to the practical side, which is the application and how we use these CFR. The base substrate, you know what's the base substrate? The base of state is the surface that we put the CFRB on it, okay? So there are concrete substrate, steel substrate, machinery substrate, timber substrate, okay? Now let's go to the structural element that we use CFRB for strengthening. Columns, beams, slabs, walls, pipes, and beer casts. Now how to use carbon wrap for structural strengthening. These are the steps that we follow, okay? First, surface treatment and cleaning for the surface. Second, applying epoxy primer on the surface to smear the member, okay? Before we apply the CFRB. Then we apply the epoxy adhesive. After that, externally wrap and bond the CFRB around the member. Apply epoxy adhesive again. Okay, above the CFRB layers, then curing and protecting. Here's the a case study, okay, where a bridge had a lack of bearing capacity across the bridge between the two main girders, so it needed strengthening. They used a CFRB in two forms, either across the bridge or in 45 degrees as you see here, okay. Then they, they measured the deflection using strain gauges in these places that are shown here. You can see these places where the, they place the strain gauges to measure the deflection and see how successful is this um, application. Okay? Here I'm showing some modeling for cylinders. This is a quarter of a cylinder with, uh, using CFRB around. And here's the um, failure that took place 
in different types of concrete when failure took place for these specimens, okay? Now I want to show you how is the effect of CFRB on enhancing strength and ductility. Here you, you can see this is one layer of CFRB, CFRB, and here you have three layers. So the thickness is different. Increasing the thickness will increase the strength. Also here you can see um, for the one, one layer, three, five, seven, there, there is an increase in the strength with increasing the layers. Okay, here is the um, conclusion for the enhancement. This is a percentage, how much percentage increase? It's 0.36 increase, 1.5 increase, 2.3, and 3.4 um, increase. Okay, this is like a ratio. Ductility enhancement, also there was 2.6 enhancement for one layer. For three la layers, 8.6 high enhancement, then 9.6 for five layers, for seven layers, we have 10 point for the ductility. Here I'm showing the partial rub. If we just drop the cylinder on the middle third only, there is an enhancement, but it's not that much as when we have fully wrapped cylinders, okay? And here I'm showing only picture for GFRB and its performance. It's the same as CFRB, okay? But we prefer CFRB. What is steel plate pumping? Now we will go to steel plate. This technique involves enhancing strength with shear flexion, compression, or improving the stiffness of deficient reinforced concrete members by bonding steel blades of calculated thickness with adhesive and anchors to the existing sections. Okay? Advantages of steel blade, they are durable and prove that the quality of reinforcement can be guaranteed the construction of steel plate reinforced is fast, simplicity and lightness, simple and light, and compared with other reinforced method is better. Steel plate reinforcement is flexible and adaptable, economical and reasonable. Now let's go to the disadvantages. It is not applicable to the beam strengthening of the plain concrete component because it needs to be attached to some steel. There is no steel, it's not applicable. The, the field strength of reinforced concrete beams cannot be less than C15, and the bonding strength of concrete surface should not be less than 1.5 Newton per millimeter squared. Sometimes it is prone to corrosion because there are uh, steel there, okay? Application of bonded steel, improving the structural strength of the concrete level, Reinforcement, welding, point fracture, or construction leakage reinforcement, blast wheel <coughs> damage beam body reinforcement, retrofitting and reinforcing of old buildings, reinforced concrete after fire. Here's some pictures for blade bonding. This is for beams, beams, okay? Uh, you can see also there are some pictures for the slabs here. You have Strengthening a slab with plate bonding. Okay, here's the application and how to uh, how to apply steel body, steel steel blades. Substrate repair and cleaning, leveling. We level the surface. Then drilling, position, conf confirming, uh, confirming. Yeah, this is to check where are the steel. We use this tool to determine where are the steel so we can um, avoid. Uh, affecting the steel, or we can also connect the steel to these plates. Okay. Also, when when doing some drilling, you have to avoid places of uh, the steel. Here, anchoring, uh, anchoring, and steel blade treatment. To treat the um, blades. Then prepare adhesive. We apply the adhesive for the steel bond for, for the steel blade. Then apply apply the adhesive. For the substrate, then bond the steel, <coughs> then fixing and compression here, then we apply the protection treatment, which is painting. Okay? Um, so 